welcome to Sunday Night NBA Action here on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Chris Weber. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce will be joining us as well. Allie, it's all yours. There's a growing sense of activism in the NBA. Kevin Durant said, quote, players are stepping up, whether it's peaceful protests, giving back to their communities, or using their platform to tell stories. It's beautiful to see people come together for what we all believe in, which is equality. When we move as one, we are powerful. Guys? All right, Allie, thank you. Now let's check out the Western Conference standings and see how they look here in December. You look at the Timberwolves, they're still trying to get something started this year, currently at the bottom of the conference. Seeing where the Timberwolves are, they really have failed to deliver this year. Even when they do get a little something going, it never just seems to be enough. No, and, and it's frustrating. It's frustrating to everyone. The players, the coaches, the fans. I mean, there was the idea that they might struggle, but now reality is setting in. And a look at Minnesota's opening lineup. Russell and Beasley are in the backcourt. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns, and it's Culver in at the three. And for the 76ers, Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel, and it's Green in at the three. Well, tonight, Grant, a rare marquee matchup at center. This ought to be a treat. Center? What exactly is that? <laughs> nah, in all, in all seriousness, this will be a treat. And it's amazing how... The center position has really truly evolved now it's not just playing with your back to the basket you have to be able to play out of the high post you have to be able to pass be a facilitator defense be agile mobile but tonight this matchup wow this is a throwback i can't wait to see these two get out let's go old school tonight really left him alone that time <laughs> that's how you up the ante come right back at him And the Timberwolves with possession. Culver outside. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul of the game. First quarter of play, a minute in. Simmons against Russell. And he probably thought he was going to hurry it up. Outside Tybal. Driving in. Second chance effort. And the bucket is good for Harris in deep. Harris has got five now. This kind of hustle is why his teammates love him. Harris, nice work in getting after it on the glass. Minnesota's on one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Culver on the wing. Down to screen on green. And it's Culver penetrating. Yep, that one goes. And here's Simmons. Out left to the wing. Impede inside. Covered by Towns. Impede. Good. Come on, guys. Check out the tenacity. There's no back down in this fellow whatsoever. Outside Russell. Knocks down the long J. Oh, look at the accuracy of the Russell shot. Even from deeper range, he, he's right on the money. The 76ers have gone three of five shooting so far. Simmons, the pass to Green. Pass to Embiid. Out to Harris. Just three to shoot. No good with the triple. Minnesota has gone two of three from three-point land so far. Now here's Culver. Driving to the basket. And he drew the blocking foul. So he'll go to the line to shoot a pair.
one at the line is good. Misses, so he splits the free throws. And you look at Tobias Harris, and he's right at the cusp of being an all star. Great numbers from him. starting to take his stride. Just needs one good year to make that jump to the next level. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Yeah, it's all about establishing a rhythm. When you start to see it far, you begin to believe. Now here's Colvin over to the left wing. An open look for Russell. The Timberwolves again can't hit. You know, with Harris, he's a bit of a jack of all trades, Chris. Yeah, Harris gives you a little bit of everything when he's on the floor. Not fantastic in any one aspect, but good and solid. And that's not enough. The team needs players like that. What's wrong with consistency? Here's Harris. He's got five. Reed with the rebound. It's not easy to keep him from converting those. I mean, the D has to be airtight. Towns a screen on Harris. Here's Russell. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Russell's got five points. Oh, with his ability to run, to pick and roll, Russell has a very dangerous element to their offense. He's like a fish in water. Now here's Green. But no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Embiid. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Towns. Now here's Beasley. He's closely guarded. Pass to Towns. Right side, Russell. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. You're exactly right. That's the kind of shot they are trying to... Oh! Oh! Versatility of Simmons astounding, amazing, impressive. Dunks like this are just insane. Pass to Colbert. It's Beasley on the wing. They set the pick on the take. Good D by Harris. The 76ers have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. From seven feet. Oh, it's blocked by Towns. I mean, if height wasn't enough, Towns also has serious athleticism. There's just no easy shot to he's around. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. High post Towns. Outside Russell. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Culver, no good. The Sixers leading. Harris on the wing. Impede against Towns. Three, here's Harris. The rebound by the Timberwolves. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Russell from outside. Ben Simmons grabs the board. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Pass to Embiid. Outside Simmons. Green, the pass to Embiid. Over Towns. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And some new faces in new places this year. All right, Grant, how long is it going to take for a new player to fit in? B.A., it varies from individual to individual. But look, there is an adjustment period every time you're on a new team. There's new dynamics in the locker room, adjusting to the style of play, the coach, the terminology they all use. It's a huge adjustment. It just depends on who the player is, uh, how quickly they're able to adapt. But there is a period of time before they really feel like they're part of that culture. Olajuwon comparisons uh, they're somewhat legitimate I mean Embiid's skill set and size is something you don't see very often
and Embiid drops them both. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. They're coming off a loss against Miami. The Timberwolves trail. Pass to Towns. To the right side. Here's Edwards. Here's Vanderbilt. Russell from outside. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. This can't find the testers. He's got to keep grinding, though, and look for the best shot possible. Milton. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Pass to Vanderbilt. Now here's Culver. Fades and shoots. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Outside Milton. Simmons with it. He's covered by Culver. And Simmons gets it to go. Simmons has got his second basket of the night. I mean, at almost seven feet tall, Simmons is hard to contain. The defense has to push him farther away. Pass to Towns. Who poked away. Here's Edwards. He's covered by Curry. Shots good by Towns. Ah, the versatility of Towns. Unleashing his outside game and presenting all sorts of problems for the defense. Outside Milton. Now Embiid. Back to Milton. Going inside. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Well, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow to protect them. Howard's checked in for Harris. Rubio's checked in for the Timberwolves. And the Timberwolves with possession here. They trail by seven. He was shooting even a little bit better. The story of this game would be a lot different. Pass to Embiid. Here's Milton. Howard to pass to Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. Five to shoot. Here's Milton. Goes back up. Uses the glass on the layup. Embiid's got six points. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. To the left side wing. Russell from outside. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got seven rebounds in the game. Now here's Curry. How quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Into the lane. Embiid from outside. Doesn't go that time. And 
Minnesota the other way with it now. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And with this matchup being East versus West, this is the first of only two meetings between these teams. Yeah, it should be a fun game to watch. I mean, two teams that don't see each other that much. They'll learn a lot about each other tonight. Back to Howard. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Well, that's why they continue to get attacked. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Pass to Edwards. And here's Russell. To the left wing. Outside Rubio. Philadelphia has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Simmons, the pass to Embiid, driving inside, out of bounds, it'll go to the Timberwolves. Davis, he's checked in for Russell. One thirty-three left in the first quarter here. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Towns. Outside Rubio. Towns, a screen on Curry. Back to Towns. Six to shoot. Here's Edwards. Shot to end the cold streak. Rebound by Maxi. Outside Curry. Howard with the ball. Pass to Milton. This is off the right iron. Oh, their movement is good. And they get the ball into the right hand. Now, usually, he drops those in between jumps. To the wing on the left. Back to Rubio. There's the drive. And it's blocked by Embiid. Oh, you got to be careful around Embiid. He's around. He's capable of coming up on the block. Here's Maxi. Rubio with some nice D. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting only 26% in the first. Pass to Towns. That's in there. Rubio with the assist. Towns has got five now. Well, he doesn't play the line. The book is there for him. He's going to hit. And so the first quarter is in the books. Sixers ahead, leading by nine. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. the summer a lot of guys that have made that jump paved the way for us a lot of older guys and um, you know the, the, the answer that they were giving me was figuring out that routine that your body needs that your mind needs to um, prepare for each game and once I started getting in that consistent routine of napping eating my pregame meal um, things of that sort it kind of start to come for me doing what he can do to reach his immense potential yeah I mean the talent is there that's never been in question but you also have to be reliable and accountable both to yourself and to your team. It sounds like that's become his focus. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, guys, what's your take on the Sixers so far? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. No question, it's been stifling thus far, but getting that off has been established any kind of rhythm. On the court for Minnesota, Ricky Rubio is out there with Malik Beasley. And the Edwards, and it's Reed in at the five spot. Hi, Grant, you were the first rookie to ever lead All-Star fan ballot. That would have made you a team captain these days. So my question, who would be your first selection in the All-Star draft? Well, back then, no question.
question. It would have been the GOAT, Michael Jordan. But today, hmm, it would have been today's GOAT, LeBron James. He just has the ability, whether a regular season game, playoff game, or even in an all-star game, to elevate the play of everyone who's on his team. So no question, Captain Hill would pick LeBron James. You're such a front runner, Grant. Hey, come on now, you can't blame me. <laughs> And the Timberwolves making a change here. Culver's checked in. And so he hits both. I mean, look, every year Harris looks more confident. He goes through stretches where he can dominate. Pass to Reed. Back to Rubio. On the wing, Davis. Rubio with the ball. Down low. Deflected! Especially on defense, where he makes his living blocking shots. Philadelphia has gone three of six from deep so far. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Here's Green. And it's Howard finishing it off. You need an army to keep Howard away from the basket. He's so superb at snatching up offensive rebounds. Pass to Culver. It's Beasley on the wing. Here's Reed, guarded by Howard. Here's Reed. Here's Davis. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Just great positioning to get the rebound and get it back up. Pass to Howard. Now here's Harris. He's got it. Three for seven now. It's been absolutely amazing to watch Harris with you. I mean, physically, he can handle the power. Outside Rubio. Outside Davis. Last to Beasley. Out to the wing. Left side Rubio. Hard work on the boards. A lot of competition for that one. But he's got the lift to be the first one, too. Here's Court Buzz. Knocks it loose. Now Rubio. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Reed. Beasley outside. Basket's good. Great work to find the space to get off the open jump. He's going to work hard for us. Here's Maxi. Now here's Harris. Takes it inside. It's good. Harris has got 11 points. And the shot, I mean, has come around. I mean, for most of the first quarter, it looked like he might be in for a long night. Outside Davis. Pass to Culver. Here's Beasley. Sends it home from three-point land. Give him eight points now. The assist to the key to that sequence. A great look to set him up. Here's Howard. Reed with the rebound. And here's Rubio. Outside Davis. Pass to Beasley. From behind the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. They've led by as many as 11. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. It was poor efficiency scoring the ball. They needed too many attempts to get their points. They had a hard time taking the lid off the basket. Their, their offense just looks flat. Reed can't hit. 
The 76ers have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Outside, Green. Pass to Maxi. Here's Green. Here he goes. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Culver. One of the most valuable aspects of Danny Green is, is his defense. He's gotten it done on that end of the floor his whole career. It's what makes him so valuable. Another miss by Minnesota. The Sixers leading. Here's Maxi. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Bobby Powell's way. He'll find ways to finish. That's how talented of a dunker he is. Chris, with Danny Green, he'll do everything he can to badger an assignment. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's just petty stuff, like standing too close to him, grabbing in the dead ball, holding their arms, and holding their jersey. I mean, those things can get in your head, under your skin, and throw you off the back. That one rolls around and rims out. Minnesota's gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Has to read. Now here's Davis. To the left wing. Beasley outside. Davis a screen. Beasley misses. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Now Harris. Howard in the high post. Here's Maxi. Out of bounds, the Timberwolves will take it. Both teams will make substitutions. And Minnesota has possession. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Towns. Back to Russell. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Russell's got his third bucket of the night. But not just a jump shoot. Russell is also very capable of it. Now here's Embiid. Covered by Towns. From 15 feet away. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Timberwolves shooting only 33%. Not exactly consistent offense. Here's Russell. He's got seven. Has to read. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, granted, 1992, you were involved in one of the greatest basketball plays in college history. Still remember it so well. What do you think about when you remember that play? Well, B.A., it really was uh, an incredible moment in an incredible game. I think the th first thing that comes to mind was how bad of a haircut I had. I mean, man, what was I thinking? I was only 19, but it shows and it pays to not be too trendy when you're young. Uh, but all seriousness, now it's it, it just remarkable. Um, you know, we were so in the moment. We were trying to win against a great Kentucky team. I had the easy part, making the pass. Christian had to catch, gather, and score, and he did. And 30 years later, people still talk about it. So I'm just so grateful to have been a part of something so magical and so special. You guys practice that play? Never. <laughs> and that's good as he hits both shots. For Philadelphia, they've got four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Simmons finds him deep. Now here's Thibault. Pass to Simmons. Outside Curry, drives to the hoop, and he parries his first look. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that pick. The Timberwolves trail. Here's Edwards, out to the right wing. Here's Vanderbilt. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Edwards. Just four to shoot. Towns for three. He's off on that one. The 76ers go the other way with it. They've led by as many as 11. And here's Stiebel. Now here's Harris. Knocked away. Stolen by Russell. He 
takes it in. Banked it in off the glass. Russell's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, some contact here, but Russell is not intimidated. He comes through it to finish strong. Simmons with it. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Atlanta. Yeah, but what even was more impressive, in my opinion, was a shot block. And they were afraid of Embiid against Russell. And Embiid with the block. Part of why they have this lead, they're doing the little things out there. Oh, and Towns with the block. And so it looks like the Sixers will retain possession here. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Oh, he is all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make the play. Fires the three. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got six rebounds in the game. Outside Russell. 4-3. Again Russell missing. I mean, I think he better come up with some different ways to get his points tonight. Three, not one of them. Ain't works. Pass to Embiid. And no good. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute tonight. Edwards can't hit. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Embiid. And here's Harris, guarded by Russell. Tries a 10-footer. Off the left rim and out. Minnesota shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got out of the way. Pass to Towns. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Towns has got seven. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Simmons against Russell. And here's Nunn. Screen by B. To stop the drought. The kick out Curry. The Sixers with another miss. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting just 33% so far in this game. 124 left in the first half of this one. And book it for Vanderbilt. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if you're at 100% right now. Now Simmons. Outside Milton. Pass to Embiid. Over Towns. And we're going to have a jump ball. But he stays with it. Back to Milton. Curry with it. Outside Milton. Harris outside. Sinks the tray. Oh, he's got a goal in this corner. Take care of himself to guide their offense. Harris has got five of his 11 shots to go here. Over to the left wing. Pass to Edwards. Here's Reed. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Sixers leading. Harris drives in to the inside. Embiid. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Give him eight points now. Did you see the no-look pass by Harris right there? I mean, he's a wing that knows how to move the ball. Outside Russell. Here's the three. And here's Edwards outside. Trains the triple. Edwards has got five points now this quarter. Man, the decision-making of Russell. Dependable at finding his teammates. And they're in cover. 
And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Sixers ahead, up by four. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They hold a four-point lead. Kenny, what was your impression? They put on a rebounding clinic in the first half. Boxing out, reacting quickly when those shots go up. And solid fundamentals that have them in good shape at the half. Shaq, what do you think about Minnesota? Their three-point shooting in the first half was atrocious. Ugh, ugly, awful, nasty. It's not that they're just missing shots. It's like they just keep taking the shots. Hold on, Ernie. Hey, you! Whatever your number is, stop shooting the three! See, Ernie, that's, that's all the coach got to do. Tell him to stop shooting the three. Pass, cut, work together, do something. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final horn. Oh, buzzer. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Tobias Harris really making a difference here. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense. And that's how he likes it. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Matisse Thibel out there with Ben Simmons. And it's Green in at the three. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Here's the floater. Reed can't hit. The 76ers shooting about 41%. And here's Simmons. Green for three. He drops it from range. Green's got six. Oh, we were great postseason catch and shoot players this decade. Danny Green is just the guy you believe. Pass to Culver. Out left to the wing. Five on the clock. Puts up a three. A rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got 11 rebounds in the game. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Green, the pass to Embiid. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Ten points for him. That's the savvy veteran. He's able to spot when his teammates aren't being covered. That's a nice rebound. To the middle. Here's Reed, pounded by Harris. Reed can't hit. Philadelphia's got five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. You know, everybody falls in love with how Ben Simmons creates on offense. As a defender, see Webb, he's top-notch as well. Yeah, Simmons has a great season. Coming up with steals, athletic frame, and lets him guard anybody. And Simmons gets it to go. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. And they get it. And Embiid with the block. Outside Simmons. Pass to Harris. Here's Thibault. Off the mark there with a three. For Minnesota, they've gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. Beasley outside. And he drives in. Count that one. Beasley's got 10 points in the game. Oh, he's been as dependable as he always is. He can't do it all by himself. Pass to Embiid. Over Towns. And he can't bank that one in. 
for Minnesota. They've gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Here's Reed, pounded by Harris. Fader on the way. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. If he'd been even halfway decent today, the score would be a lot different. But he can't do anything before. Back to Harris. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, man, and defenders have to be more cautious than guarding Harris. He is constantly looking to draw contact on his shots. First one falls. Well, Grant, we've seen these players take a bigger stand and have a bigger voice now in helping shape public policy, and you yourself have been a part of that. Talk about what that's meant to you and the importance of making your voice heard. Yeah, B.A., it's been so important to me. I've tried to live my adult life, my public life, exercising the power of my voice. And as I look to today's players, they have taken that and run with it. With the advent of technology and social media, Players in all sports and from all over the world understand the power of their voice and are willing to use that to speak out on all types of social issues. We saw that last year with the NBA bubble in Orlando. It really speaks of how today's players have evolved into more than just an athlete. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. How oh, question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks. It's a trend that they like to reverse. Davis finds Rubio. Outside Davis. Pass to Towns. Wide open. The Timberwolves again can't hit. A little surprise he took the jump shot with nobody around. He could have attacked the basket. Here's Green. Second chance shot. And there's the bucket as Howard finishes it off. Howard's got eight points. Uh, this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Here's Towns. Oh, and he got a foul on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the term Renaissance man, perhaps a little overused BA. <laughs> but for Carl Anthony Towns, it's probably appropriate. He was a great student, he taught himself to play the piano, and has had a voice on many social issues. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And that one falls to Towns. And Towns also active in the community. By all accounts, a very caring person. But Grant, some have hinted that they think he's too nice. What do you make of that? I don't have a real issue with that. They said he prefers being positive, but in this league, we know you also have to have a little dog in you as well to excel. 
I think he has that. He'll continue to get there, I'm sure. And so Towns nails them both. Well, Grant, you played when teams didn't have a sophisticated method of managing players' minutes. I want to hear the Grant Hill thoughts on load management. I'll tell you what, B.A., load management is the new wave in the NBA, and that is so valuable and important to the team. You factor in 82 games, travel, getting in late at night on the road, guys working out year-round. It's so important to think big picture as players uh, go throughout their career. So load management and sophistication that's applied now is so important for the board. I'm a little jealous. I wish they had that back in my way. Having players available in crunch time and extending careers. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Sure, sure. Brian, this season started later out of necessity, but there's been talks of permanently pushing the schedule back. Avoiding overlap with football would be a plus. But on the other hand, guys, the players who are parents, they want summer breaks for their kids too. Yeah, that's a lot to consider, Allie. Good stuff there. We'll see how it shakes out. On the second one and so here is Philadelphia since halftime they've only allowed five points pass to Maxi now indeed the kick out to Simmons just five to shoot lays it up and banks it in Simmons has got four points in the quarter and what's working here each guy is willing to make the next pass. Beasley with it. Culver outside. Back to Towns. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Towns has got 12 points. This nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Pass to Embiid. Here's Korkmaz, looking for his first basket still in this one. Back to Howard. Here's Simmons. Oh, okay! Incredible concentration from Australia. Even when you body Simmons up, this is great at power. For Minnesota, they've gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Pass to Towns. Over outside. Beyond the arc. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Howard's got a seventh rebound here tonight. He shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots. Here's Maxi. And down it goes. Two points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Right. It's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. And that doesn't constitute defense. Davis, the pass to Towns. Beasley outside. Got Towns. Guarded by Howard. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. As hot as he's been, it still has to be him who leads the charge and helps turn this game around. What's up? That one misses the Towns. That's what they want to see from attacking this season. Maybe he causes some fouls from him. Here's Milton. Uses the glass to finish the layup. This is what it's been since halftime. Efficient and effective. Well, just a dream scenario for them so far. Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Double team on Towns. Here's Rubio. And it's blocked by Embiid. Here's Maxi. Pass to Curry. And it's rebounded by...
by Carl Anthony Towns. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. The fader. Rebound by the 76ers. In beat. Left side Milton. Pass to Embiid. the most of the halftime break to shoot off the problems he had in the first half. And he started to settle in. Here's Vanderbilt. Here's Edwards. He's got five. Out to the right wing. Outside Rubio. Pass to Edwards. The three ball. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Towns. That's his third foul of the game. The 76ers making a switch here. Harris has checked in. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Russell has checked in. Philadelphia has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Russell against Curry. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Curry's got his second bucket on the night. And they've really managed to dominate inside. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots to have any kind of chance. And they pick up two. Oh, the soft touch on the floater. Gotta like when Russell burst out the lethal floating shot. Here's Maxi. Now here's Embiid. To Milton. Harris on the wing. Pulls it in from the elbow. That went a little long. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting around 35% for the game. Pass to Rubio. Here's Vanderbilt. Now here's Russell. Wednesday, they'll be playing against Russell Westbrook and the Washington Wizards. Then on Friday, they'll be matching up with Drew Holiday and the Milwaukee Bucks. Philadelphia has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to Embiid. Over Towns. Here's Maxi. On the wing, Milton. There's the triple. Towns with a rebound. Towns has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Towns on the screen. Russell finds Towns. And it's Towns with the power finish. Breaking down the screen and roll. Russell seeing a passing lane open up and take it. Harris outside. Pass to Embiid. Back to Harris. Minute nine left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Here's Maxi, covered by Rubio. Minnesota has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Russell against Curry. And he's doing things on the glass tonight that we don't often see. A great instance, relentless. Seems like he's getting to every miss. Harris on the wing. Pass to Maxi. Embiid with it. Guarded by Russell. Rubio with the ball. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Here's Edwards. And there's the drive. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. That's a great set play. Laying down the screen and setting up the easy chance. What's up?
Here's Curry. To the left side wing. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Sixers ahead. They lead by 13. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four, next. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Yeah, he put it on the platter and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for the Timberwolves. Edwards out there with D'Angelo Russell. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Reed in at the four slot. Outside Tyler. Shot clock at five. Nice shot by Simmons. And the 76ers lead by 15. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Pass to Culver. the line. That one is off. The 76ers go the other way with it. They led the game at one point by 20. Simmons, the pass to Green. Here's Embiid, covered by Towns. Pass to Thibel. From deep. And it's Culver with a rebound. He hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. It's a good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. Here's Reed. Culver outside. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. the second from the line. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth. Pass to Harris. To the paint. Impede inside. Towns on him. Here's Thibault. No good on the triple. The Timberwolves shooting around 35% for the game. To the wing on the left. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Down to five on the shot clock. Russell from outside. Counted from distance. Wow, his first triple of the second half gives him two on the night. He's not making much of an impact. Over to the wing. Here's Embiid. The Sixers again can't hit. 
I like what he was trying to do, shaking the D with the fadeaway. Tough look. Inside, Reed. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got four assists now tonight. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Now Simmons. Pass to Harris. Outside Donner. Three is up. And the ball out play. Timberwolves will have it. Beasley's checked in for the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Russell from outside. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Yeah, he usually makes you pay from that range. Outside, Green. Pass to Embiid. Over Towns. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Minnesota's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Here's Reed. Four on the clock. Russell from outside. Sure, from three-point range. Russell's got six points in the quarter. And the three-pointers is becoming a weapon for him. You can see it. This is the second of his half. Third overall. And him beat throws it down. Offensive game of the big shot. Team. And Philadelphia has possession. And here's Simmons. Now here's Embiid. Over Towns. Misses off the left iron. They know they can't give him that shot. The D's all over. Not even giving him an inch of space. Down low. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Simmons with it. Outside, Green. Here's Embiid. Ooh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. And really, how do you guard Embiid? He's this close. You almost have to foul. And the one number two. Free throw drops for Embiid. That's perfect from the line this time. Oh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go to the post. Towns against Embiid. Back to Culver. Over Green. Culver, no good. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they could have waved it at that time, but they got to show some more aggression. Simmons, the pass to Harris. They get it back. Oh, they get a hand on it. Stolen by Russell. Pass to Beasley. 17-foot shot on the way. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Simmons, the pass to Green. Embiid inside. Covered by Towns. And it's Simmons with the jam. That's all you have to do. Jordan is in his own direction. He'll take care of the rest. Now Towns. That's tip. Beasley outside. Back to Russell. Six on the shot clock. The Timberwolves are 
missed those kind of shots. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. That free throw, no good. When we're growing up in Australia, Ben Simmons played lots of Australian rules football. When you watch him play, that's the toughness you see. Curry, he's checked in for Thibault. And he sinks the second. Minnesota has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Beasley outside. Pass to Russell. Now here's Beasley. Shot clock at six. On the take. Sinks that one. Now shooting five of ten. And looking sharp. And that's a perfect setup. Solid screen. It opens up a clear path to the run. Now Harris. And here's Embiid. Covered by Towns. Fires it. That's good. From Embiid. On the assist by Harris. Embiid's got 12 points here in the second half. Time to call the Timberwolves. Well, you look at Joel Embiid. He's playing really well right now. He's been a force inside. If they don't commit more bodies down low, he's going to keep destroying them in the paint. Embiid. Yeah, he really got after it tonight. I mean, they ask him to provide a big chunk of the offense, and wow, he responded. The defense had no idea how to contain him. You know, I got to applaud his incredible energy out there tonight. Losing again was not an option for him. He wouldn't settle for anything other than a win. Sixers on deep. They led the game at one point by 20. Over outside. Here's the teardrop. The shot by Russell, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. That's just great defense, forcing his man into a difficult attempt. Green finds Embiid over Towns and misses it off the right side of the rim. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Over outside. Towns up top. Just five on the clock. Russell from outside. That shot, no good. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Outside Simmons. On the wing, Curry. Here's Embiid. Hits the J. Have to fake it out to D with a quick update. Embiid's got 14 points now in the second half. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. He's been 
tremendous at Corral. This is all night long. He's playing with dogs and determination. That's how you end up with double digit boards. Embiid missing again. Minnesota has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Over on the wing. And the ball out of play. The Sixers will have it. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? <laughs> and that's exactly what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on the defensive side of the ball. Philadelphia's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Right side Curry. Pass to Simmons. fearlessness with plays like this. And here are the Timberwolves. Down by 15. Simmons against Russell. The rebounding differential is a major story in this game. Now Simmons. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And it's powered home by Towns. Woo! The whole arena felt packed. Towns could just be merciless on offense. Philadelphia shooting pretty well at 45%. To the paint. Here's Embiid. That shot is off. Good work defensively by Towns. 49 left to play in the fourth. Russell, that's good. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. The yeah. coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. Here's Embiid. Back to Simmons. Harris outside. Lock it four. Count it. Harris is a solid mid-range shooter. He feels comfortable from there. A minute 15 left in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's Towns. Pass to Culver. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Green. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink his strategy around what to do with him. Well, it's a comeback out of range. He can put a ball on this one. Good performance for the 76ers. I think it was their play in the paint that got them the win tonight. And the defense seemed powerless to stop them down low, resulting in plenty of high percentage shots for them. Over outside. Driving in, and it's blocked by Embiid. And so the ball out of bounds, Embiid touched it last. And the 76ers going with a whole new group out there. And a new group getting ready for the Timberwolves. Here's Rubio. The Timberwolves again can't hit. So it's Philadelphia now. They led the game at one point by 20. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Korkmaz. Tries to spin move. Spun in there, gave him a great move. And the 76ers lead by 17. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. This is what guys play for, and when it pans out like this, it's a great fit. Here's Towns. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what, 
give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Joel, you took over offensively. What went into finding that rhythm? I thought I got the shots that I wanted and I played into the floor of the offense and my teammates were finding me, so I just knocked down some shots. Thanks, Joel. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. Along with Grant Hill, Chris Weber, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's presentation. So long, everyone.